All right, guys, I am on the last leg of this Drive Drive tour with the Impractical Jokers. We go through August, and then I'm back on tour solo. This is the last time to see us on the road for this tour. We just announced like 25 new cities. We'll be in Hollywood and Tampa, Florida, Cincinnati and Youngstown, Ohio. We're playing the Chicago Theater April 21st. Uh, we're playing Foxwoods, Radio City Music Hall, New York City, our homecoming show. We have not been here in years. That is May 5th. It's I my favorite place to play. Can't wait for it. So Everybody from the New York area will see you there. Orlando, Atlanta, Mobile, Alabama, uh, Graniteville, uh, Grantville, Pennsylvania. Oh, we're going down to Atlantic City, New Jersey at that Ocean Casino Resort. Bethel, Saratoga, Saratoga Springs, Guilford, New Hampshire, Bangor, Maine. Jesus, the list goes on and on here. Syracuse, Durham, and Hanover, Maryland. So those are all on sale right now. And again, this is it. This is the last run. So if you see a city on there, come check us out. Get the tickets at SavileCanoComedy.com. Check out all new shows, uh, episodes of Jokers Thursday nights on True TV and TBS. All right, babes, listen to me. I add, I'm filming my special at Tarrytown Music Hall March 3rd, but those are all sold out. So I'm running my special at New York Comedy Club February 20th, February 26th, 27th, 29th, and March 1st. Those are the last times in the New York area you'll be able to see that hour. And now I've just announced April 16th, I'm coming to Dubai. And then June 3rd, I'll be in Belfast, June 6th, Birmingham, June 7th, London, June 10th, Manchester, June 11th, Liverpool, June June 12th, Glasgow, June 13th, Dublin, Ireland, and then that's it. I am off the road for months, so Chrissy UK's is coming. Chrissy UK's, Chrissy Ireland's, Chrissy Dubai's, and Chrissy New York City's. ChrisDComedy.com for Tiki Wikis. Go ahead, baby, go, go ahead, baby, go, 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 go ahead, baby, go, 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 go ahead, baby, go ahead, babe, go, 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 go. Go ahead, babe. Go ahead, babe, go. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Let me tell you something. First of all, I know I've started the last three or four podcasts acknowledging this right away, but you have to understand being me and seeing you walk in because because of schedules. And because I moved a little further away, we only really see each other now on these things, but it they, they will change. But Ooh. every time I see you, you're getting skinnier and skinnier and looking more and more svelte. It's Thanks. not even skinny. I, Cause I don't like when people say that. Yeah. It's sveltier and healthier is S- what I want to say. It's svelte Svelt and health. Svelte and health. That should be my new motto for 24. You look sveltier and healthier. Sveltier is fun. A fun word you just made up. I How think. do you spell it? S-V-E-L-T-I-E-R. S. The ELT. Svelte is S- I think it's more svelte, but I don't think sveltier might have been you took a you took a poetic license. So you think that the word it's in every connotation it's just svelte. There's never we you can't change the um I think action it's, you look of it. more svelte. You look even more svelte. Got I could it. be completely wrong. Slender or lith. Svelte, svelteness. Svelte's an, svelte's an adverb. Interesting. Svelteness is a noun. The Svelteness monster, that's who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I don't know if it's an illusion. Because I don't know if I've, I've lost anything as of recent. Well, here's the thing. Here, here's also what we have to speak about. What the what 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 demands being spoken about right now is you're in a process now. If you've radically changed your life, you've radically changed your diet. You're looking svelte as ever. You're the svelte king. People talk about the slept king or the svelte king. Yeah. What happens is is we get addicted as human beings yeah. to the to the uh, progress. And then eventually at some point, your progress reaches a ceiling and then you start to feel like you're not making any progress, but you've reached the goal, right? Yeah, right. So now the maintenance but part- But then you have to shake things up, don't you? Right. Don't you have to trick your body or something shake, like that? Shake, shake it off. Shake, shake, shake it off. Yes. Shake it off. Shake it off. So oh, quickly. I it saw, has to be quick, Sal. I, th- I saw the Chiefs game. <laughs> okay. I saw the Chiefs um, and, 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 and Ravens game. Ravens. I didn't see yet the Niners. And, 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 and please help me. Lions. Lions. I have a T-Vod. You don't want to know who won. I don't want to know anything, please. No spoilers, okay? Okay. I, I know I, I was able to watch. I finished working at like 1.30 in the morning, and I, and I fast-forwarded through the one game, and I saw it. What a disappointment. Right. Game. 
So, um, folks, don't forget, this is the first week of March. When you when you'll see this episode, he still, he still hasn't seen the game. So just know he's watching the Super Bowl right now, and whatever team has made it to the NFC, representing the NFC, he doesn't. He still has not watched I the want, game. I want this to be authentic, so I'm not going to watch any of the games until this gets dropped. Yes, he won't know who the Super Bowl winner no. is. You won't know anything. Exactly right. Yeah. Okay. But um, it was a hell of a game. Shout out, though, to... Yes. Uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Mahomes. If I didn't mention Mahomes, um, oh, you know, uh, well, that, you saw the Chiefs Ravens, so you know that you know about the Chiefs. Yeah, I know about the Chiefs. So the Chiefs, you know, are in. We can safely tell you the Chiefs are in. The Chiefs are in. They Niners, the Lions, we can't tell you. Yet. I can't know. I okay. can't know. I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Um, I'm not going to tell you. And um, the Chiefs, it could have been a better game. Well, we don't want to talk about this because it's four months ago. Well, I, so. do, I just do want to quickly say, I got to be honest with you, the Chiefs. It was it's, a great game till the end. It was a great game till the end. It's a terrible call. It's a little boring now, yeah. which is good. Win the games, fine. I understand if you're a Kansas City fan, just like I was a New York Yankees fan yeah. in the late 90s when they kept winning all the World Series. But I, even in 1999, when they made it again, I was like, this is getting stupid now. Yeah. 2000s. Like, how many times in a row are you guys? It's always the same teams. Yeah. It's feeling like that with the Chiefs a little bit. It's like, all right, like. Well, you know, well, this year they struggled all year. They're just a great playoff team. Kelsey made a lot of big plays. Amazing. I think he's going to retire too. I think you're going to have both Kelsey brothers retire. When? I think, well, his brother, Jason, already retired. But he's, no, but he, Travis, I think, is going to retire at the end of this year. But he's still utterly dominating. Babe, but if you think about it this, if they win another Super Bowl, my man's is getting $1 million for an Instagram post that he does not have to keep up more than 24 hours. Why do you want to go out there and get a couple things? Get your body. How do you rocked? know those rates? I know. How do you know the rates? Also, that would that all, would insinuate that state. he's not playing. <laughs> he's not playing for the passion. Let's just be honest. You're saying instead of doing a whole football season with a camp, possible injuries, playing, you know, banging up your body, right. some another another leap toward possible CTE. You're saying instead right. do thirty Instagram posts. Because here's the thing. Here is the thing. Much like goes like what we were talking about progress. If you've already won the Super Bowl so many times, you're why are you? You're what in, is the motivation? Where is it coming from? I understand in. it might not be financially back, but if I said, my man, you can get one million dollars for an IG post that comes down in twenty four hours, and your GF is Taylor Swift. Yeah. Why are why are you going to now subject yourself to more CTE? Which I think they should call something different because that acronym just seems like cute to me. It right. just seems like cute. Right. Right. Oh, I got cute. So FYI, you have IG and you have TS and you don't want CTE. So maybe BRB. BR, exactly. Right. Okay. And some people at home are saying WTF and I right. say F you. Okay. So I, <laughs> I, uh, yeah. So would you, <laughs> if, if, if you, if you got a million dollars a post, mm -hmm. you would never tell another joke. If I did a million dollars a post, you would have an empty seat next to you each week on Hey Babe. <laughs> 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 I would, but, but you would, you'd, you'd cease comedy. You'd cease stand-up comedy. No. Or you still got something to prove. No. Not but, to prove, but like, do you still want to do it? You know? Here's what I would, here's what I, honestly, if I'm, if I'm being real with you, let me be real. Tell me, is it real boo? Tell me if it's real boo. Is, is it, it really, really real? real? Yeah. For real, I would, for real. I would say, here's what I would actually do, because I do love performing and I do love the art of stand-up comedy. But if you left... Where would I be without my Chrissy? Continue. Yes. Um, I would do comedy still mm -hmm. once a you know weekly, but only in New York. I don't think I don't I don't think you'd catch me on a plane going anywhere. Would I catch I, you outside? Or no? You might catch me outside, okay. but you might catch me outside in the New York City in the tri-state okay. area. Okay. I would only get in a car and drive to gigs. So I, you would so you would be beholden to your spot times and all that. Yes. Stuff. You'd still call and get like a eleven fifty five spot time on the well, Tuesday. No, 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 no. I would have specific rules. I would say I'm only performing between the hours of seven and eight PM. That's right. And and <laughs> and I'm only doing it on these days. And if I cancel you have to deal with it. Right. Right. As you want me, you want me. Yeah. By the way, you know, uh, I did PGW? get a text. BTW, yeah, okay. by the way, BBW. Yeah. And Big, beautiful woman? Yes. Okay. I did get a text from, a, you know, one of the most prestigious comedy bookers uh, in New York City, and they texted me <laughs> saying, what are your, your availability? And I told them, and then they wrote back, just please make sure your spot, your availability is firm. You've been canceling too much. And I was like, I, that, that's the emoji I sent back. <laughs> 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 so now, though... Because now I'm hesitant. Now I'm you hesitant. That Booker gets that emoji a lot. <laughs> no, well, okay. no. Well, I got drunk one time and sent that and sent that Booker like three kissy faces and five hearts. 
<laughs> and and then she just wrote she just wrote back she uh, didn't even write back she just put question mark <laughs> and I, was, I just want to say thank you for all you've done for me and she wrote back okay <laughs> <laughs> when I was ripped yeah. and letting it fly one time Verzi was texting back and forth with a professional person I forget what it was in reference to and he meant to he meant to send her I think like like the point up or like whatever and he literally sent her the finger emoji there you go and it was in the middle of a real car and he sent it to me i saw it dude i laughed so goddamn hard. yeah it was like he chuck laurie from finger. cbs <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. What, what, what do you mean no i'm just saying like it was somebody oh, vitally oh, important <laughs> okay i thought yeah. chuck laurie had a middle finger story no i love chuck laurie shout out chuck laurie i don't i i, I probably know every single one of chuck laurie's shows couldn't tell you what he looked like at all can i guess chuck laurie's shows yeah two and a half men sure Chuck Laurie's Two oh, and a Half Men. Oh, can I guess another one? Yeah. Uh, uh, the one with uh, the gay, two gay guys and Megan Mullally and uh, that one? Will and Grace. Is that it? I believe so. I don't know. Okay. Uh, uh, the Big Bang Theory. Oh, 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 God. Yeah. This guy's cashing um, in. Uh, Mike and Molly. Mom. Oh, wow. uh, Yeah, uh, dude. I oh, mean, right. Dharma and Greg. Young well, Sheldon. Bucky oh. with Sebastian Maniscalco. Oh, let's look up his Sybil. I mean, Sybil. Dude, wow. Remember Sybil? Sy I mean, Grace Under Fire. He's, he's one of the legends. He is. I, I think he's. He's the go of West. This. No, it's it's not him. It's uh, Chuck Dick Wolf. D Dick Wolf. Uh, he doesn't. Law he and just, Order. Doesn't he just do Law and Order? That's pretty sick. No, I would love to have Dick Wolf's life. What about my boy who just passed away? The best, the Norman Lear. He Norman was the, Lear. He was the but he's a little bit before my time. Okay. But I I but, can't tell you what these guys look like. Just like I can't tell you what directors look like. Like if I said this is this is uh you know Christopher Nolan and you know. Uh, Michael Bay. It's Michael Bay, Michael right? Bay. Do you know what these guys actually I look Nolan like, though? Like, I feel like I know what Bay looks like if, if he had to pick Did him Did you know that's room. Chuck Lorre? No, he might didn't look... That, that looks like basically... A, his face looks like a Halloween costume. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of weird. It looks like a rubber mask you slip over your yeah, head. Yeah, I don't know what He's these guys look... He's got that TP going, that tight perm, though. Right. You know? Can we look, who's that? that Dick Wolf. That's Dick Wolf. That's Dick Wolf. <laughs> That's Dick, Dick Wolf. Dick Wolf looks like he writes Law and Order episodes at the end of a bar in Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> yeah. He looks like a longshoreman. Yeah, Dick Wolf looks like he'll beat your face in. He looks like a longshoreman who fell on hard times, actually. Yeah. But these these are some of the most successful men. He looks a lot better in some pictures than others. In others, he looks he, like he got beat about the face by like something. Yeah, that yeah he looks he looks hungover here, which he might be, which is good for him. Dick Wolf don't need no. He doesn't need to dress up. He could drape no. himself in velvet. But Dick Wolf has here's what Dick Wolf has, which I love. He has a full career in New York. Dick Wolf, I don't think ever has to get on a plane. Dick Wolf, Law and Order films exclusively in New York. Right. And I just think like that's to me. When people say, when you make it, that, that's the goal to me. How? It's like, I just, uh, this guy can just live in a five block radius and be like, this, I'm Dick Wolf. He, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he does what? SUV? Yeah, he does all the New York ones. SV, SUV, SVU, and, and then what other? There's a few of them, right? There's, uh, there's so many of them. I've never, never seen one. Yeah, I'm, me either. I'm, I'm, I don't know. And I just started watching uh, House of Cards for the first time. Is that Dick Wolf? No, that's uh, Kevin Spacey, and I don't know who created House but of Cards. But Kevin Spacey got, he was in it, and then he got kicked, he got the boot, right? When does he get kicked out at some point of, of, oh, of he got Steve, does, does does he not finish the season? I'm not, I'm not sure, actually. I didn't watch no, the he show. No, that was the thing he was, like, starring in when everything went down. Right, well, no, he's, he's it's, 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 if you haven't seen House of Cards, it is one of the best shows I've ever seen in my life. What's it about? Politics, like, he's, he's a congressman, and, like, the in and outs of kind of how corrupt DC is or how corrupt he Did is. Did you watch West Wing? No. Who's that guy? Psh, who's West Wing? Sorkin. So let me ask you a question. Chuck Lorre, net worth. Dick Wolf, net worth. Don't Google Let's play a game. Would you like to play a game? I would like to play a Norman game. Norman <laughs> Lee net worth. Let's get those three on the board and let's also get, what's the last guy we just said? Sorkin. Sorkin. Let's get him on Don't the board. Don't pull him off For yet. For shits and gigs. Let's put our guesses in. Hold on. All right, hold on. All right, all right, all right. Okay. All right. Chuck Lorre's net worth is seven hundred and fifty million dollars. I would not. I I would agree somewhere up there because I think he's going to be the highest because Norman Lear, he. I don't know if he's making the same kind of money he did when he when he invented all those things. Although they're all in syndication, so you never know. Right. Chuck Lorre, I'm going to say has to be up there. It has to be above five hundred million. I would say I would agree. With, oh, should, I, should I say something different? Let's okay. do like Price is Right. Okay. Whoever gets right, closer. Right. I think Chuck Lorre's worth. Uh, these aren't correct though because I googled myself. And <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, I, I'll say uh, 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 six hundred million. So you're going to say six hundred million for Chuck Laurie? I'm saying seven fifty. What is the answer? Let's get. 
Chuck Lorre's net worth. Not Chuck Woolery. <laughs> Chuck Woolery. Chuck Chuck Woolery. Six hundred million. You nailed it. Oh my wow. god. <laughs> Wow. wow. I should play the lottery. I will tell you this, though. We're going to keep going this game, but I will tell you, nobody is worse at this, I think, than me. I say some of the things that I say that are so out the pocket. Yeah. I literally was looking for homes last week, and somebody mentioned, like, Ma your boy? Looking for Patrick Mahomes. Oh, no, I thought you were looking for your homes. Mahomes. Okay. So, so the real estate agent I was with goes, oh, I know uh, Method Man doesn't have a house far from here. I said, really? Method Man in this area? He goes, yeah, he doesn't have a house far from here. I said, that's interesting. I said, because Method Man's got to be worth about $100 million. And the guy looked at me and said, he's not worth $100 million. I said, he's a hundred. I said, it, it's about that. And he goes, no, it's not. And then he looked at me and I immediately dropped it $50 million. I said, well, then maybe it's $50 million. And he continued looking at me. I said, maybe it's $25 million. And the more he looked at me, the more I looked. And then we Googled like, it. The man's broke. And then we Googled it and it's $10 million. That's not right. Which that's, has got to be more than that. There's, there's no way that's correct. But I'm just saying how right. I came out and said $100 million is kind of out the pocket wild thing to say. Out the pocket. Yeah, I would say that. But but I know what you meant by that. Right. He's been in the Schmitty. industry for 30 Thirty-five years. He's oh, a no, wildly, 30 years. He's a Plus, wildly successful person. He's a he's a working rapper and actor at the top of his game. Yes, I gotta I gotta think he's worth at least twenty-five million. A hundred percent. I don't know. That okay. real estate agent also has an attitude. I think has a big attitude, which is why they got fired. Good. So so right, if you're you, watching and we know that you are, right. just zoom in later for you, real estate agent. Bye. It's been real. <laughs> <laughs> so I stay. So um, you're we, an you agent, nailed, you're you nailed an Chuck Lorre at six hundred million. Okay. I said seven fifty. Dick uh, Dick Wolf. Dick Wolf. I'm gonna Dick Butkus. Dick Butkus. I'm gonna say Dick Dick Wolf is six hundred and eighty million. <laughs> That's my I'm gonna guess. drop that down low, low. low from, I'm low, gonna go from the low, windows low. to the walls on that. I'm gonna say he's worth about two hundred and seventy-five million. Okay, six eighty versus six hundred. Whoa, the Wolfman! The Wolfman! He's worth the same as. Wow, this is a. It's more intense game than we thought. It's yes. close. You think that guy? He's worth six hundred million. Has he done anything besides that? I think it's that's the big law one. Order. I think it's all the law and orders. Six foot three. He's not a small man. No, wow, that's something else. December twentieth. Today is his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, today is his birthday. Um, um, wow, I didn't take him. If he, just Law and Order. Just Law and Order. Because Law and Order, though, for me, and I know there's a lot of fans of it, but for me, it just feels uh, redundant and repetitive, and it feels kind of in a box. Uh, because it's not on uh, uh, cable, it's on network television. And after 10 different versions over 20 years, right. I feel like we're treading a lot of the same material, it's the same tone. I'm surprised, and this is no slight to Dick, that this thing is still going strong. Well, it's one of those things where it's one of those things where I think you got to know who your audience is. So the audiences are are our mothers. Our mothers are watching this. Right. They're watching this in the background while they're, they want to see special all, victims crimes 24 seven. My mother lives for this. Yeah. My mother lives for stuff like this. She lives for blue bloods. Yeah. She's my mother. You don't have to thrill my mother with right. entertainment. She's Chicago fire. She wants to see it. Notice. She, she'll talk to her sisters about, you know, what happened in the Rizzoli episode, which Isles. actors, yeah. hands, you know, they want to see Christopher Maloney. They think he's handsome. Right. He's still doing it. Oh yeah. God bless that man. So, so they, so I think you got to know the audience, you know, like, you know, the people who are watching the bear, are not also watching Law and Order okay. SVU. You know okay. what I mean? I watched The Bear. I love The Bear. Okay. Shout out again. The Bear. Shout out The Bear. Shout out Hulu Shout as out. a network. That's right. Shout love out Hulu. Hulu as a network. Shout them out. Um, by this, uh, yeah, by by this time, uh, you know, I hopefully my special's out already. If it's not, then we've we there's an issue. Um, oh, you're going to film within the next two months. I'm going to film within the next two months, but it is not coming out to the the end of this calendar year, early next year. But I hopefully would have already been announced that I'm doing a special. By this, Ooh. Steve, this is coming out in what, four weeks? Yeah, uh, yeah, four, yeah. About four if, weeks. If, it, if, it, if it's not, you could just, this is an exclusive, or you can drop, you can beep it. We can beep it. Yeah. Um, so, you know, you're going to end up with a, doing a, had to do a photo shoot like this, and you're going to do it, aren't you? I will do it. See, we're looking at a and picture. And I'll stuff of, my underwear like he did. We're looking at a picture of Jeremy Allen White, who's uh, the actor from The Bear, the lead actor. And, uh, you know, eventually when you hit a certain thing and, you know, you're a young, good looking guy like yourself, Appreciate you, it. you end up being, you know, positioned as, as well as a sex symbol. We always want to be the funny guy. 
But you can be. But can we be a funny can sex symbol? Both. I don't know about that. Now, Venetia, Venetia is also here. She's 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 taking the ride over. Venetia is Jeremy Allen White, the lead, st the star of the Bear. Is he a fuck boy? Yes or no? Uh, no, he's a loyal boy. I've heard. Whoa. He's um he just got out of a very long term relationship. I found out. Interesting. Um, there, I heard it has connection to do with his sobriety, but Whoa. he has been with his woman for like more than 10 years, which I think is big in Hollywood. Oh, that's that's terrible. It is so terrible. So now I had to, all this success and everything after 10 years and now they're, they're Apparently not together? Apparently that's what she had just like filed in the divorce papers that she like, he <sighs> didn't, you know, kind of follow through with his stuff, but. Got it. You know. He is ripped. He is. I didn't know he was that ripped. Do you mind that he, if he's short and ripped or is that okay? Totally fine. Would you rather a guy be short and ripped or tall and chunky mm. as a woman? Well, you're not a mess. Well you, well, you must be talking then on the very short side and the very tall side. Anywhere in between, it doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, right? we need to define so, what right, is So the guy short. is shredded three foot nine. <laughs> <laughs> is he funny? What's that? <laughs> is he funny? Yeah, he's but, funny. He's a professional horse jockey. He, he, <laughs> he's no, I mean this guy is. But he wins like Belmont. Yeah, but picture picture what you feel is the best body ever. But you got to get stuff for him out of the freezer, and then <laughs> and then the other guy is has is paunchy. You know, he's a little Good bit. Word. He's, a little, he's just a little soft, mm -hmm. but but he's seven foot nine as well. So there's a there's a four foot difference. He's two times the size of the short guy. It'd be harder to travel with. The you have to get man. stuff for him out of the freezer when the for the refrigerators that have yeah. it at the bottom. No. We would have It'd to get specific furniture for my tall man. We we're gonna sit with Shorty. Short. He's well, my short. No, king. but you're gonna need you're gonna need adjustments for both men. Let's go. Right, let's go. Let's go. Let's bed. go. The other guy seven feet. Let's be realistic. I love that Steve's <laughs> playing this on a loop, and it's just him doing pull-ups with his penis as close to my face yeah. as possible. And I want to say, get it even closer. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so this is what I'm saying. Now we're gonna go over this whole thing. Play this loop the shot. entire episode. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna play this shot by shot. But before we do. I started off because there was an article about him, and he was in it like in a black and white photo with a tight white like undershirt on, with his box of briefs on. Right, and he's looking like he's has this. Uh, what do you call that? Like that gaze. He has like yeah, this, like the sex he's eyes. Sul this sultry, sultry yeah, shit. Yeah, sultry. Like, good. Now you have to have that within you. You can't be. You can't not feel that way and project that. I'm sorry. No. Which means he feels that way, and I can't believe that people feel that way. Right. Because I could never. Yeah. If you said to me a billion dollars, if you could do this and take yourself seriously. My body, my brain would not be able to let me look at a camera with underwear on and just be like, yeah, and then not, <laughs> not think I'm a moron, loser, right. idiot, and it's, it's laughable. Right. Yes. You don't have it in me. Well, so if they ask you to do that, though, if they can put you in those boxes and a little tight shirt, a little Hanes, you know, thing, and it, we want to take a black and white and you lean on the couch and you got to take a sexual, sensual shot. Because they're going to put it in GQ right. for an article. You can do it? Well, I want to say that I think I could do it now because I've been taking acting classes every Monday night from 6 to 8 p.m. on 58th Street. So I do think that... How I, many weeks? I, I'm in my third week. Okay. So I do think that I could command this performance because, so, because I've been taught how to act. It's not about the words. The words are the last thing. It's about the person, place, and time. I want to know the tone of it, not the words. Interesting, interesting. So, yes. so, so you've had three classes, or you've had two, and going into third. This is going into my third tonight, okay, which so I'm already thinking about canceling. So, you, <laughs> so, you, so you've logged four hours of four training. Four hours. So I think I could. I think I could command the performance of award-winning actor Jeremy Allen White of the Bear. I'm pretty sure I'm at his level. Also, how, how do you do things in life? Right? You do. You, you spend time for your, your loved ones, your mm -hmm. wife, your kid, whatever they are, kids. You you study acting. You still study acting because actors don't stop right no they can't they, stop. are they just like i got it now and they never they never i think acting. they're all, supposedly according to my acting coach uh that i'm in this class they the, just, the act they're always working the actors they're always taking classes it's an ever flowing thing even, so even these types of actors they'll take it in a much higher level like ones that i can't get into but they'll always be working on something but who's teaching them that then well, why are these master class actors teaching them, but they are not master actors themselves? It's a good point. It I, is I, a good point. Yeah, because I always thought about it like I wouldn't take a stand-up class at this point. I'm, I do stand-up in my work. There you go. But uh, supposedly you, acting is a different thing. A stand-up teacher who didn't do stand-up is not going to tell you how to do stand-up. No. So how is that any different? Yeah. 
Ta-ching. That's the sound of Shopify. <laughs> no, listen, Shopify, right? Yeah. I mean, we haven't been with them in a bit. I'm glad they're back because when we started podcasting, the online store, we didn't have merch the furthest from our mind. Uh, now we sell all of our merch. Go over to NoPressureNetwork.com. You got that Hey Babe merch on there. It's so easy. All because we ended up using Shopify. Other people got it done. Key and Peele, uh, Faye and Polar, right? Yeah. I mean, why not? What about the perfect duo when it comes to growing your business? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Cha-ching. That's, cha-ching. Baby. That's the sound of Shopify. Shopify is the global commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launcher online shop stage Mm -hmm. to the first real life store stage, Mm -hmm. all the way to, did we just hit a million orders stage? (laughs) Shopify is there to help you grow. I love you, Shopify. Whether you're selling a scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, Shopify helps you sell everywhere from the all-in-one e-commerce platform to their in-person POS system, wherever (laughs) and whatever you're selling, Shopify's got you covered. (laughs) Shopify helps you turn browsers into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout up to 36 percent better compared to other leading commerce platforms with that in-person pos system yes and love. sell more with the with less effort thanks to uh, shopify magic your ai powered all-star okay mm-hmm. look what we love about shopify no matter how big you grow your business mm-hmm. they give you everything you need to take control and take it to the next level yep uh Shopify powers 10% of all e-commerce in the United States. That's a lot. And Shopify is the global force behind Allbirds, Rothy's, and Brooklyn, and, and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries. Because businesses that grow, grow with Shopify. Right now, you can sign up for a $1 per month trial. $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash heybabe, all lowercase. Go to shopify.com slash heybabe, all lowercase. Now, right now, to grow your business, Business, no matter what stage you're in, Shopify.com slash hey babe. Cha-ching! All lowercase. Rocket money, burning, burning up all your subscriptions. subscriptions. Love you, Rocket Money. Used to be true, Bill. That's right. Now it's me. Rocket Money. I use it. I have it, Sal. You have it as well, right? I, I legit have it. And and I uh I really I use it and they, I love this. They get me an email anytime there's a, a purchase that yep. seems a little larger larger than normal. Yeah. Anytime they get a purchase that they don't know where it's from, they identify it. And every single uh like month or, or weekly actually I get a uh, uh I get an email that says all the things that are due for me to pay and the amounts. And they could also go in and renegotiate stuff for you and get subscriptions and things for cheaper, and then of course the big thing is the cancellations yeah because it aggregates everything you have and you can cancel stuff with like basically the yes. click of a button you don't have to seek out places seek out these websites to cancel subscriptions anymore so rocket money it's a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions monitors your spending and helps lower your bills Legend. i can see all of my subscriptions in one place and if i see something i don't want canceled it Can- with the tap never have to even get on the phone with customer service no thank you unbelievable and you know what i did when i found out me and my lady had three things that we were paying two two times for yep okay she was she had subscriptions to three different things that i did that we were like we could yep. just cancel these right now the only thing you ever two time is your subscriptions that's not exactly your lady. right that's exactly right yep. rocket money it has over five million users and helped has helped save its members an average of 720 dollars a year Jeez. with over 500 million in canceled subscriptions Woo! People hate Rocket Money. The haters hate them. Haters go hate. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash hey babe. That's rocketmoney.com slash hey babe. Rocketmoney.com slash hey babe. All right, baby. Viator. I love this. I use this app. I just put shows on sale. I'm coming to the UK the first two weeks of June, UK and Ireland. What do I do on my days off? Via tour, I'm going. I'm doing a walking tour of Glasgow, Scotland, and I'm doing a walking tour of Birmingham. You because, love walking and you love tours, and I love it. And Via tour is the place I have used this every country I go to, every state Let, I go to. Let's tell them what it is. Via tour, tell them what Via tour is. Via tour has over 300,000 bookable travel experiences in over 190 countries. They offer everything from simple tours to extreme adventures and all the niche little interesting stuff in between. Via tour is the place to go to book memorable travel experiences. So when you land at a place you don't know and you want to know what's up what can we do here what's fun you go on via tour and they have it all laid out for you and you can book your whole trip up just like that you don't need a concierge anymore nothing you, you don't, don't need a, you don't need a book you don't need a tech you don't need to go get the local paper mm. or anything like that that's and crazy you know what via tours bread and butter is day trips that's day right. trips bro i went on a day trip with via tour when we went to ireland we went to the cliffs of more and one of the day trips which because i thought it was just going to go walk around the cliffs of more but they had a day trip on via tour took us to the
the Aran Islands, they were called. We were on a boat. We saw the clips some more. Then next thing you know, I'm on a boat in, in some ancient Irish island, uh, 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 island all because of... Viator. Yeah. And website or app or download the app, okay? Yep. Millions of travelers also use it so you can read their real reviews, which I think is one of the most important uh, assets using yep. this, okay? Download the Viator app now and use the code Viator10 for 10% off your first booking in the app. Uh, one app over 300,000 travel experiences you'll remember. Do more with Viator. Yo, Butcher Box? I love them. Jazz made steak from butcher box last week it was banging how about this i got a box i got a butcher box delivered to the house like that two days before super bowl we used the uh the chopped meat to make the chili for the super bowl party outrage i had people there from new orleans a couple of comics they were like what's in this chili yeah and the, the, i mean i think I, I think what i'm implying is people from new orleans like like no chili like yeah they yeah. know chili anyway it's from my butcher box butcher box it's right from sal's box butcher <laughs> box peace of mind easily find high quality meat and seafood you could trust 100 yeah. grass-fed beef free organic Honey. range chicken pork raised crate free and wild caught seafood humanely raised no antibiotics no added hormones none of that meat got strep throat delivered right to your doorstep it's free shipping always always curated to customize uh box plan so you could choose what you want or choose something they've curated the value is ridiculous you get high quality cuts at that value exclusive member deals recipes inspirations guides tips and hacks come on dude i'm getting my protein up butcher box is the place i love it my kids love it again they just it's it's the high quality meat we love it. I have, you know, we eat, you know, I eat red meat. Some members of my family only eat fish. Butcher Box got it covered because, like they said, wild caught seafood and no antibiotic uh, beef. Love it. And, and I, I don't waste time in the grocery store anymore going to any of the meat no. protein aisles. And also, also, whenever you're in the mood for something, it's already in your freezer. The key to becoming a meal prep master staying stocked up on the essentials and butcher box is here to help you do just that they're offering our listeners ready for this their choice of a weeknight meal must have three pounds of chicken thighs two pounds of ground beef or one pound of premium steak tips for free in every order for a whole year plus you get twenty dollars off your first order sign up today at butcherbox.com slash hey babe and use the code hey babe to choose your free offer and get twenty dollars off twenty dollars off yeah because it's weird because like in the acting community an acting coach is in, a, in acom in acom yeah is is a good is a very good actor that's decided to give back but they're where in stand-up typically it's like a stand-up teacher a, not that they're bad but it's yeah. like they they don't want to be doing that they're doing that because they they not that they have to right i don't know what i'm saying yeah <laughs> No, I mean, you don't see like uber successful comedians yes. teaching comedy per se. Exactly. Like Chris Rock's not going to teach the class. Right. But you might have a really successful, Meryl Streep might teach a, a master class. Sure. You know? But that's two different things. I'm, my question though is, how do you keep up with your script? You keep up with your diligence of training. What is going on here? I just can't believe this. Is, I can't believe this. It's a full slow motion workout of him, but nothing in his a tight, tight, tight underwear. But is that his actual penis and balls or did he stuff? I think it's him. That's his actual penis and balls? Yeah. Okay, Vanatia. In, in today's age, that would leak immediately. Like, yeah. Right. Stuff. The penis would leak. Okay, so yeah. so then <laughs> I, I will see, but he doesn't look like the penis and balls don't look the same there. So even if I had the same penis and balls as him, I probably wouldn't want to do it because I also don't need people to see exactly what my penis and balls look I like. I think even, and it is just have to be a part of you. One of a friend of mine who I know is one of, he's ripped like this. Yeah. Like he's got this similar body. Okay. He's a great guy. In introduce he, or no? Introduce? Or? It, yeah. His name, it, we call him <laughs> Buffalo Mark because okay. he's from South Buffalo. Okay. And he's as ripped as you could possibly be shredded. And he do, goes and does hot yoga. Now, hot yoga Typically, the men take off their shirt and they're just in underwear, and women are just in because you, you're dripping sweat. But he is as ripped men are as that. In underwear? Yeah. It, it's a Not thing. sports shorts? Or sports. Like they're just typically have their shirt off. Okay. He is as ripped as this guy, maybe even more ripped, and he will not, he keeps his shirt and clothes on. He's like, I don't need people looking at my body. My body's for me. And I'm like, I respect that. And he's got a, a gift. Uh, like a godlike body. Okay. Like, I can't explain to you how ripped he is. Okay, Amazing. just pass my email. But anyway, yeah. so this guy, <laughs> he, looked, he looked more ripped than the other one than this. But my point again, which I'd like to get to at some point, mm -hmm. is how does he have the time and that it takes to get a body like that? How? Well. How? So he's, he's, he's has a trainer and he's dedicating mm -hmm. an hour to two hours a day, no matter what, to that. Diet. Along with the. 
diet. Diet. It's the chef. That's the thing. It's not necessarily the secret to these guys and girls who get this ripped is not necessarily the gym. It is. It's the chefs. It's the private chefs. Everything they're eating tastes like the best food you've ever had, and it's 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 half a carb. And why are don't these chefs get the credit then? Why is it they all the physical get. trainers? What is going on in this? I don't know. Okay. What, this looks like, if I'm being honest with you, this looks like we just found someone who was recently sodomized on a roof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it looks like he, he, had, like he went to send you a frogs, right. and he had like three yard glasses. Right. He Trevor Karate's so- getting up, by the way. Trevor Karate <laughs> just got up. He heard sodomization, and he got up, and he got... Well, let me take a look. Yes. Um, <laughs> it looks like he passed out. Now, here's what we're looking at a black and white photo he's laying down on the rooftop on a piece of wood mm-hmm. and his pants are around his knees and his ass is in the air with yes. his underwear he's shirtless and he's he's half his eyes are closed but he's brooding still what is what's the takeaway here what Listen. is the like this isn't even like normal it's not even like yeah. the other one where he was just looking at the camera or yeah. like why are his pants around his thighs and it's, it doesn't make any sense. Like, what is this supposed to... This is just I, supposed to be a out-of-context, sexual, sensual... Well, let's ask... Let's ask the only female in the room, Venetia. Do you think... Do you, I know Steve identifies as one, but I'm talking about biological females. <laughs> do you... Is this sexy to you, this pose right here, Venetia? Oh, yeah, 100%. This is? Yeah, yeah. What is it about it? Because we're. I'm looking at it... I think and it's I'm, the eye contact, and he has a nice butt. Yeah, Got but, it. He has a nice butt. But isn't this stupid? Oh yeah, hundred okay. percent. No, no, no. This is. I mean, they could have picked someone else. Stupid, but the picture is stupid. I mean, it's saying the description that it's supposed to be a heartthrob, someone that you can catch around town, jumping rope at the you park. Can ca- this is one. what you catch around town, this right here. This is what they're trying you to reinforce. You can catch us around town. Uh, it's called fentanyl. <laughs> 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 yeah, you go, you go to the LES, you'll see this exact thing where people just as ripped as him. This is not skinny. For real, for real. Uh, but, okay, but pull the jeans up, same thing, or pull the jeans off, same thing. Why are the jeans just below his ass? Question. Is this something about Calvin Klein? Because let's bring it to Seinfeld with Calvin Klein. Like, you know, you can be sexualized when you wear the Calvin Klein pants. Calvin Klein and... Oh, was there a Seinfeld bit about Calvin Klein? Yeah, how Kramer wears... He's a model for Calvin Klein. Remember that? Okay. Okay. Yes, but I don't remember... Oh, it's the, his clothes that... It, it, is that what it is? Is his clothes? Remember how he was like... Um, he so, was, real Seinfeld fans are screaming at us right now that we don't yeah, know this. Yeah, like he was I, uh, discovered by Calvin Klein. Yes. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, remember that where this he was... All, that, that's a, like season two or three. <laughs> Where look at that. Kramer looked good. It's yeah. like you wear the underwear. It's not really the person. Maybe it's the underwear. Yeah, but I'm just saying, like, he doesn't have the the jeans pulled down to here. That's true. Like, for example, if you have, not saying that Jeremy Allen White doesn't have humility, <laughs> but, you know, or insecurities, but it, I'm speaking from my perspective. If I, I wouldn't be able to take myself, I couldn't take that photo and that live out there. And then I talk to someone and be like, oh, you saw, you saw my photo. You see this? Like, I would be so embarrassed of that photo. Right. I guess, I guess, you know, if I looked exactly like that, maybe I wouldn't, but I still would feel like this is so dumb. Like when I have to do, when you do press or promo photo shoots or anything of that nature, do you, are you comfortable with that? No. I never, it's worse for me than anything I do on the show. Yeah. They get you there. If anyone doesn't know what this experience is like, it's just lame and horrifying, especially if you're shy and you don't like taking photos. You get into a room. It's a huge room. There's like 40 people there. People that you don't know what they do and why they're there. Yeah. They try to play music to like get you comfortable. There's a million lights on you and you stand there and the guy just goes, okay, go just start doing stuff. And there's 40 people looking at you. And then I don't know what to do besides this. I go, (laughs) (laughs) I smile and then I can do like this and not smile. And then I can smile with my hand in my pocket. Like this. 
or 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 not smile with my hand in my pocket. I have four things. I honestly think I, the next time you do this, you got to pull your pants halfway down and yeah. lay down like Jeremy Allen White, and that's the move. And do it for real. <laughs> no, I go. You guys ready for this? I just do it. I lay on the floor. I do that, and I stay there. That's it. I'm like, just get every angle. And then, it would be funny if the photographers just went with that, and they were just. <laughs> yeah. And they're always like, it's okay. They're like, and I'm like, look, I I, I walk up and I go, I apologize in advance. Yeah. I go, I don't like taking photos. It doesn't feel natural. It feels so weird. My skin crawls. It feels cringy. And I can't take myself seriously. There's no way I'm going to try to look brooding or sexy. I said, so I can come out and give you a polite smile. And then beyond that, it's. I'm sorry. There's right. nothing you're going to get from me. And then what? the other guys are like, like Gatto would do it and he'd be like, <laughs> and he'd jump and he'd bring it over and he'd, go, and he'd do all that stuff. And I'm like, God bless you. Well, that's why he's off the show. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. He would do all that stuff. And I'm like, I can't, I feel so stupid. Maybe I'm just insecure, but I feel so stupid. No, we are insecure, but it's part of our, I think, charm as comedians, like Jeremy Allen White, has insecurities. They are different than our insecurities, but that's why he's an actor and we're comics. We're in right. all kind of chemistry. We all have the same problems. Yeah. It's just what are you insecure about? He may not be as insecure about his body, but he's very insecure about do people think I'm funny or not, but we don't care. I'm right. like, I know I'm funny right. and I'm like, take it or leave it. Approval. But I, I'm not, I can't really pull my pants down around my ankles and be like, take a picture of my butt. <laughs> right, right. I just can't do it, but he can. But what I'm saying to you is though, I'm saying, I think you're headed there towards this. To, to, toward being like, a, you know, you're getting more and more notoriety and you're a handsome guy and I don't put it past you to have to do something where this is going to be in play. Right. And so I'm prepping you now. I'm priming you here now on well, Hey Babe, you know, and I'm saying, will you be able to do this and, 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 and what's going to happen? I'll tell you, I, if you would have caught me, if you would have caught me six months ago, I was closer to this. But right now I've been having more fat days than you can imagine. I've, I've a couple of times lied to my fasting timer, which you can't do. And I spoke to my therapist about it. I better help. And I said, and I said, what, what is wrong here? And she's like, you, you have a condition. I said, what is it? She said, it's being a human being. You're going up and down. She was like, you're going up and down and that you're being human. Did being. she bait you like that? Yes. Which and I said, like, it's not great, it? for, but she is a health professional. But I was yeah. like, you know, like I literally, you scared me. And, <laughs> and, 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 She's like, you have a grave condition. Yeah. You have AIDS. <laughs> and, and so, and so, but I have been in a point now, but what I will say, what I will say is going back to this addiction to the progress is Sometimes you have to lose a little bit because then you get addicted to the progress again. So yeah. I think it is like an ever flow. If you imagine you only were happy, you would die in a, two days. You'd die. If you, because uh, I would like to try it. No, but no, but negative emotions and negative things, they keep you safe. Actually, when something negative happens, you learn. You never learn anything really when you're happy. When you're happy, if you just go towards things that feel good, eventually you'll kill yourself. From happiness, like you'll take a pill you're supposed to take, you'll jump off a building, you're like, I love everything. It's negative emotions and fear that's a survival thing. I, I, I would in say, a way. in a way, yeah, yeah. I would say, I would like to rid myself of all the negativity, though. I would like to be more positive. I, I'm, I, you're very positive. Thank you. Am I? I think so. I think so. I, I think am? you're very positive. What I think, what I think, very positive guy. What wow. I think, what I think about all of us. Why do we, I feel that way? Because it's one of, because we, we can see you. You can't see, uh, uh, what is it? We got the bird's eye view of you. You're you. Well, I'm positive to everyone else. And I'm positive as a demeanor. And I'm positive with my, you know, here. But like in, like in here, I'm like, Jesus Christ. You know what I think a thing I'm that we worried, all go through? Everything. That we all go through? Is when we try to control things we can't control, yeah, it's bro. always down. If you Sing just, it. if you, like right now, what are we doing? We're doing the podcast. We're controlling this. We can't control if people like it. We can't control the comments. We can't control <laughs> if the ad companies want to get involved. We just control this part and then you let it go. But it's very, that's easier said than done. It's very, very hard. But if you just constantly remind yourself, I'm just going to control what I can yeah. and let the rest go, then that's it. You've done your job. Dear Lord, help me to. Do the thing, another thing, and that 100%. I can control, and not that I can't control. Yep, whatever that little. Prince. That's what Jeremy Allen White is saying in this shot. Okay, okay. Now, now, you know, it's one of those things where we we're we're living too in this world where sex sells, right? I think sex is always sold. So if we got to pull a little sex out there, we'll pull a little sex out there. So, you know, if if you guys want to yeah, come, this is what I'm saying. Seriously, if you guys wanna, if you want it, if you guys want to come. 
and join this Hey Babe train, then you y'all can do that. It's up to you guys. It's up to you. I'm not going to, I'm never going to sell out. Whatever it I'm is. never going to sell out no. and tell you. <laughs> not even, I don't even I'm know. all about comedy and the art. Whatever you guys want to so, do. But if you. But we, he at Hey Baby will not sell out sexually. If you want to come join us, you yeah. know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button. Yeah. <laughs> You're wearing a black slack with a back button on the pocket. You like that? Lululemon, babe. That's that's like it's a kind of like elevated. It's fancy. I wasn't expecting it to be like that. I wear Lululemon more than I wear jeans now. Lululemon number one is a more expensive pant than most jeans. Mm. Never shrinks, never smells. How about you ready for this? I did a full workout before I came here, uh -huh. dripping in sweat. Have not showered, was wearing these exact pants. Wow. You don't smell Moisture me. wicking odor uh, de defending. Exactly. Something. Okay. I have been wearing them, and I am I am as on Lululemon and athleisure side as you possibly can be. Question for you. Uh, is that a, a zipper and a button, or is that elastic up by the waist there? What, this? Yeah. It's a, a elastic. It is. Yeah. Can you stand up? Yeah, I need a new pair, and I'm liking those a lot. Thank you. These yeah. are called these these are I, you know, called I I the this. um I think I these are the everyday pants. Okay. They're called, I think. Have you seen Viore yet? The brand Viore? I love Viore, but it's it's, it's a Lululemon competitor, I think. Competitor, but I like Lululemon better. No disrespect to Viore. Shout out Viore. Shout out. But I do like Lululemon's kind of uh uh I'm surprised Lululemon I are they making like NBA player uniforms or or at football uniform? They should be. Yeah. But I, the, the direct competition is the Viore, I think. Yes. I think. Yeah. And I've recently made some purchases from them as well. Yeah. And I'm enjoying them. How about this? Ready for this? little inside. And hopefully by then, it, 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 I hopefully got the part. But I got auditioned for a movie, right? Yes. And so the star of the movie calls me yesterday. By the way, I auditioned. I had like five like pages of audition, like a, a pretty juicy part. I wonder if we auditioned for the same thing. Of this movie. I wonder, is it a Netflix movie? Yeah. Yeah. Which part? I'll tell you about it. So, so we, we did audition for the same, for the same movie. movie. Wow. And I, I, we did the same movie. I'll tell you, though. I'll, it's very funny when I tell you off air who I think got your part because it's not even a man. And yeah. <laughs> I swear to God. No, no, actually in the script it was written for a woman. Okay. But so, they said that they might change it. They might it. change it. So anyway, I auditioned. So you wait, you know you know that the part got filled? How? Because I was on a I was on a the star of the movie called me yesterday gotcha. and said, Do you want to go on a um a uh, 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 a table read for the movie? Table okay. read, right? It's right in the middle of the playoff game. I said, you know what? I'll do it. I don't know why I know anything about the playoffs. Okay. Well, it was it was in the in the in the Chiefs game okay. and Ravens, so you know they they won. Okay. But anyway, so you know, table read. When you do a table read for a movie, it's you literally reading the script with the other actors and actresses. Some are involved, some are table. just filling in at a table. This was on Zoom, okay. so I had to do it in a car. But it takes like two and a half hours, like because you're literally the movie, like you're reading it slow, acting. So you it. already sent in a self tape, and this was a follow up. To now, to now read. Well, it wasn't even, this wasn't even coming from casting. This was just the star of the movie, who's a friend, right. who was just like, do you want to just, we don't, just that part that you read, that you auditioned for, just read it. We're doing a table read. We need a body to read it. So it doesn't, doesn't tell me. A, but you had sent in tape. I had sent it, to, I had auditioned for the director and the star with like right up to the directors. So. Do you I know do, him? No. Okay. But he was at my show in LA. At because the will turn. Just at the will turn. They were just there. Because you sent in a tape and you wanted to come see me. No, no, no. Live. He, he saw me and then asked me to audition. Wow. So, so he just happened to come see you the show. You know how it is in LA. The agents invited all the people yeah, yeah, yeah. from all the networks. So he was just one of them that was there. Okay. And, and a great guy. So anyway, so my, it was like so many pages. So like the audition was like a big, you know, part, whatever. And I'd be grateful if, if I still got this part. I want to do it. I, it's, you know, in New York, I want to do it. 
but I was on this, this, the read for, you know, it's two and a half hours. It was like 115 pages, which it takes like two minutes a page. Cause again, they're acting everything out, reading the stage direction. So but I'm like waiting you, from, but you hadn't read the whole script. I did. Oh, you did. I had. You did it originally for the, for the audition. Yeah. I didn't have the time. I just read my size. So I read, there were some questionable things in there that I wouldn't have known unless I read the whole script. So you did read the whole so script. So I read the whole script and I'm, and I knew the script and I knew like, you know, I saw like my part coming up. And I'm like, okay. And then I look at the script because she, you know, the, the star just told me like, you know, be on in 15 minutes. So I couldn't read because they, they had a new script. Like they, you know, things, you know, they yeah. changed the script. Right? Yeah. So I'm reading it and I'm like, my part's about to come up and I'm getting ready. I have the car light on me because I only had a cell phone. I have the car and I'm whatever. And then I see omitted, omitted, omitted. I'm like, all right, that's one scene, whatever. Fine, let's do it. So each, now we're in an hour. We're an hour and a half. We're on. Still, my part's not coming up yet, but I knew that. I was like, okay, then we get into my next big part. Right, I know what's coming up. I, I kind of know the lines or whatever. Omitted, 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 omitted. I'm like, okay. Now we're two hours and 10 minutes. How many more lines or pages were there in the script than the sides that you performed and knew when you auditioned? So the sides that I was given was yeah. five pages sides of material. Sides you're watching is just like basically your pages of dialogue. Your pages of dialogue that you auditioned. The, the, the five pages. Five pages. Okay. When my moments came, when I did finally see my name, the character I was playing in the script, we're on the 112th page of the 115th page of the script. We were two hours and 10 minutes in. I had two sentences. No. Yes, two sentences. Why'd she do that to you? No, no, it wasn't her fault. It was just like I was the, 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 the character, like, you know, it's you're acting. No, I know, but it is two lines in the last page. Why? Well, I mean. I mean, you could. You know, I, I mean, guess it it's, it's one long. of those things where it's like my line. I mean, you want it, you want it. Yeah. If you're in it, you're in it. I yeah. get it. Even if it's too, you know. Yeah. But you know, there's also a, like a. Wait. It was my line. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. You're my girl. Here's my line. She pregnant. <laughs> no. That was it. <laughs> no. I swear to God. That was it. And then pans to the next person. <laughs> so I was like, okay. But what was the, I thought you said it was substantial. It was in the audition. But then movie scripts change. Okay. But I got to be honest with you. You know yeah. how I feel about acting right now? Because I really want to try to get into it. With stand-up, I feel like I put in my time. Yeah. I put in the I'm work. Saying. I'm not going to do anything with stand-up. I'm not going to do anything for free anymore. I'm not probably. I'm going to do things because I feel like if I deserve it or if it's a passion I want to do it, I feel I've earned my place in stand-up. Acting, I haven't. Right. So sure. if, it's, if it's one line, I'm happy to do Same. it, especially in New York. I'm happy to do it because I believe it will lead to more. Same. You Same. know? So it's, just, really, it's just funny that you waited two and a half hours in your car yeah. and said one line at the end of the script. It's funny that we auditioned for the same thing, too. And it's so, funny when I tell you who, who I almost positive. I mean, they were on the Zoom yesterday, that exact part. I feel like I can guess tell because me. I saw, I saw like it was supposed to be a woman. I see what the, the yeah. part is. And I just feel like I have a guess. Who? Who? No, but, but close. Good guess, right? That is a very good guess. In the same, a fellow lesbian. Okay. Um, it, it's Which a, is funny. They're like, this part's for a lesbian. Let's bring in Sal. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. No. I'll give you one more. Guess one more lesbian. This should be easy. There's only a couple of think think New York lesbian. New York lesbian. Who do we know is a big? No. Okay. But very close. I, I, well, you know what? I could spend the whole hour naming lesbians though. Big um, New York lesbian. <laughs> big big New. That's it. Son of a bitch. That's, that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. In fairness. In fairness, but she does. She was making me laugh out she does, loud she, on that table. She does, no, she no, no. I mean, I mean, that's it. Being like, I would have never guessed because she's a bit, a bit older, and I just, I don't know. I just wasn't thinking. Well, the movie because they're taking place in like the settings. Kind of, I get it. Yeah, I, nothing against her. I just, I just wasn't like. I just not. That's not who I pictured. I pictured a young. In my head, I was just picturing a young. You know, movie. and I'm not saying if she's attached or not attached to the movie because I, 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 I really don't know. But you know who is hilarious who i'm like a humongous fan of the actress jillian bell you know she's, jill she's my good friend i love that girl i love she, i was literally i was literally she's, she's my favorite female actress i really mean that jillian bell to me is like give her awards please but yeah. she doesn't already have them but I, she's she was the making best. me laugh out loud she's the funniest 
Britain person. Yeah, I like Jillian Bell. She's the, is she uh, is she New York based? No, she's or LA? in LA. She's in LA. She'd be great to have on Hey Babe. If, if you're on. listening and we know that you are. Yeah, she come on. I I uh, she was she was a guest on Joker's last season. She's great. Jillian Bell is great. Yeah. And uh, I you know. I truly she's someone I truly truly love like and her. enjoy. But um but yeah, so so she's an actual friend. But it was funny cuz I was I was in the so What was she playing? She was at the I forgot her name. She should be in every every comedy. There's no so, one funnier than her. But it's funny because I, you know, was on the Zoom, right? And then doing it. And then I knew that my part, like, I was, like, looking ahead. I was like, oh, I guess I don't really, like, whatever. The part got small. It's fine. But, like, at, like, an hour and a half in, I went back into the bar to watch the Chiefs-Ravens game. And my phone accidentally unmuted. And then they knew it was me because they could see. So I had all these texts from the star being like, unmute your, like, go back on mute. You're accidentally unmuted yourself on the Zoom. So people like, I completely disrupted this table read because we were like screaming like Chiefs, no. Ravens. So yeah. you had snuck back in because you knew your part was- I knew my, because I was starting to look at, it pretty much takes about 90 seconds a page. So I was doing the math saying, well, I only see my character's name all the way down here. So I was like, I probably have a good 30 minutes before I'm even remotely on. Yeah. Wow, that's ballsy. It was ballsy. I got f***ed up. And then, but it, to know it was, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She didn't, they didn't care. No, 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 no. Yeah. She texted me after great job. So, so it's, yeah. On the one, two words. Yes. <laughs> okay. Which, hey, listen, it's one of those things where if I get it, it, you know what I'll do? The same thing my father told it'll me. Expand. You'll my expand. You'll be yourself and they'll give you more that, because That's you, what he yeah, said. My yeah. father's, it goes back to what he told me when I did the audition for Guy Code. He was like, you control your part. Just worry about that. Yeah. Control your part. Right. You just throw elbows. That's it. Throwing elbows. Throwing elbows. But you, you got it. You you know this person. You're New York based. You can yeah. handle it by times a million. Yeah. And you already did the table read. Like, and she said, good job. Like, why wouldn't you get the part? Yeah, I hope so. Well, you know, but the thing is, sometimes it's not about you. Sometimes it's about they may be really want you, but then it's like, you know what? But if uh, they see Rob Gronkowski is available, let's get him. You right, know what I mean? Right. I right. get that. Yeah. yeah. But. So how but many yeah, people babe, on this table read, babe? This was a lot. This was 20, 30 peeps. Oh, because you had whoa. everybody, the producers, the directors. And you had all those people in the window of yeah. your phone? Of yeah. Room? Well, you know, I was, yeah. Yeah. Really? It's intimidating. It is intimidating, but. I'd be intimidated. What can you do? Yeah. I, um, so what's going on? What, uh, what drug do you think you want to do before you die? If you could do one hard drug, what drug would it be? That I one? haven't done yet? That you haven't done yet. What do you want to do? Uh, I don't really want to do any, but if I have but you to, have to I'm okay, saying. if I have to, I'm forced to do a hard drug before I die. Am I dying and I do it while I die? Or you just mean like before I die one day, before you die one I'm day, just making I sure I wasn't to like it. absolute dying at that moment. Right. Cause then I would maybe do like something like a heroin because then I'd be like, Oh, this is not right. right. Yeah. You know? Um, <laughs> I think I would probably want to do. Well, what are the hard drugs? Heroin, bath salts, crystal meth, fentanyl, speed, crack, cocaine. <laughs> Ice, boom, pal. <laughs> <laughs> All the street names. <laughs> Crank. Um, <laughs> I don't really want to do any of them. Well, if you have to pick one, let's just pick one. I guess. What I, do you have to do? I, I don't want to do any, but if someone forced me to do a drug and I didn't want to do a drug, I guess I don't. I don't want to do a H. That's no. hard. That's too hard. <laughs> okay. Uh, I wouldn't. I don't want to do anything mind altering either. You got to uh, pick one. Jesus Christ, Chris. This is this is the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I do a whole bunch of coke. You do a whole bunch yeah. of coke. This has been Hey Babe. I was going to say, and then what you were going to say, ask me, I was going to say, I say no to drugs. This is <laughs> 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 <laughs>